Ever wanted to see localization without the hassle? Well, Crowdin just launched Crowdin AI. But will it be a game changer? Andrea and I will show you how this looks like in action and show you how the dashboard feels in our interview. Check it out. Andre, the biggest thing on our release today, it's uh, Crowdin AI. Okay, so what's behind Crowdin? That's something that is not publicly available yet, but that's something that we can review in today's session about this. So idea here is that we allow, first of all, beginners who just want to dive into this AI localization world and they have you have an application, you want to translate it, and you don't want to involve any human translators probably for now. Okay. You don't want to review. You fully rely on AI and you want to get good quality. So this service, it will allow you to, first of all, follow. you just follow these steps. So we made it in a way that you just go from the top step by step and you create a project first. After that, you set up a CLI tool I think Harvester will be the first one. So it's also, we you know, that we have this link. The context Harvester, it's something you download to your machine. It will analyze all your source code and it will help you to get screenshots, images around buttons, about what you have in your application automatically. First of all, it will be textual context yes so it will add this gray text under source strings in crowd and so ai and even your human translators if you decide to use human uh, translations later or review everyone will see this context so it may be really handy and developers just follow instructions here the tool is has open code so you can easily adjust it according to your preferences and you collect context after that, using CLI tool, it's also another tool that allows mainly designed to upload files, download translations, but nowadays it can do a lot of other stuff. You can run pre-translations using CLI or you can check translation status. It's based on our API and it um, from terminal developers can easily run any commands. So you upload files using CLI tool to Crowdin. After that, if we go to next steps that are described here, we we can actually switch to the next page. I see you no, have, three, we have three different items there. Yes, we have. So after we upload files, it's time to configure AI mm -hmm. here. So we configure AI provider. Every user may have their own preferences on the provider that they will use. So you, it's simple. You just click on it. You link your API key that you use for OpenAI or Gemini or any other vendor. And you find, you create a prompt. It will allow you to set up a prompt. You can see what is sent to AI. You adjust it and then your content will be auto-translated by AI. Very cool. I see quality assurance as well. Yes. Yes, it's in place. And here we see that it's also a part actually of context harvester. It will try to identify where potentially you AI won't be able to make a decision because when AI starts starts guessing what translation to use, then most likely it will be not the translation that you expect. So this quality assurance check will allow you to be much more confident that content you uploaded and context you collected is sufficient for AI to uh, produce better translations for you. And the upcoming feature that will be also added here, it's about screenshots so yes we will ha also have a nice way to that will allow we have 
description here. Mm. We already have this functionality, but we want to include that, all that helpful info in this service. So users will know how efficiently they can collect screenshots of their app or a web, or a web application and upload them to the project to make AI translations even better. Good. So guys, this was Crowdin AI, a new feature you can find in this newsletter. And uh, this was a brief, brief introduction to that tool. I'm sure Andre and I, we will talk a lot about this in future editions as well. Automation, it's for indie trans developers. And it's AI driven, but it's also integrated later on in the interface. You can see your projects in the interface and then process them as you prefer with translation and so very cool. Very interesting. So guys, this was Crowdin AI, a sneak preview to the latest release from this month's uh, newsletter. I hope you liked it. And uh, let's see if Crowdin really is able to generate the uh, translation quality of 95% by combining LLMs, context, screenshots with AI from Crowdin. We will see in the next video, we will check out Vector Memory, another cool feature from this release. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel.